Well, now on to an update on Ohio lawmakers trying to set a special August election for voters to decide whether to make it harder to amend Ohio's constitution. This, of course, ahead of an abortion rights amendment, which is expected to be on the November ballot. There's a lawsuit challenging that August election now. Well, it's been filed with the Ohio Supreme Court on behalf of the group. One person, one vote. Our legal analyst Stephanie Haney is here to join us now with a breakdown of the arguments that they're making in order to try to stop this special election. That's the August election. Yes, the one coming up in August that well is supposedly to happen. Right. Jay and Betsy. Now this group, one person, one vote is a nonpartisan organization. And the main argument in their lawsuit to try to stop this special election from taking place is that Ohio just passed a law to stop special elections from taking place. That law, House Bill 458, passed with bipartisan support. And part of the reason it got bipartisan support is because of the historically very low voter turnout for special elections in August. They've been used in the past by local governments as an example to pass levies when fewer voters were paying attention. So House Bill 458 passed the Ohio and Senate in December, the House and Senate in December, and then it was signed into law by Governor Mike DeWine in January. That went into effect in April, and here's the key here, no new bill was passed. Remember, this attempt to set a special election came in a joint resolution. Those are two different things, practically similar, but bills become laws, joint resolutions don't. And when House Bill 458 passed, Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose said this, Interest groups often manipulatively put issues on the ballot in August because they know fewer Ohioans are paying attention. As a result, the side that wins is typically the one that has a vested interest in the passage of the issue. And he said then voters are capable of voting on these important issues during the standard primary and general elections. Now, as we look at this, what he described there is exactly the reason that one person, one vote filed this lawsuit, they say, with the constitutional amendment to protect abortion rights, as we mentioned, that's expected on the ballot in November, Jay and Betsy. Hmm. That's okay. tricky. Um, we, we talked about this in May for the, there were a lot of school levies on the ballots mm -hmm. in May, and perhaps that's strategic too, because the whole idea is there's not a big turnout, and if one side can push a turnout to the polls, they can get these school levies passed. Mm -hmm. It seems though that all, voters have become more and more educated on these. I know a lot of recent ones actually went down because the opposition coordinated. Mm -hmm. And that's so that's what we're seeing here. So what are the people in support of this August election? What are what are they saying? Well, they knew this was going to be an issue with the bill that exists. And part of the lawsuit's legal argument, of course, as we just described that. But Republicans in support of trying to have this special election tried and failed to update the Ohio Revised Code to allow these elections for constitutional amendments. Now, despite that, Ohio Senate President Matt Huffman says that the Ohio Constitution gives them the authority to do this. He said, quote, the Constitution says the legislature has the authority to place an issue on the ballot and to decide when it's going to be voted on. He's basing that opinion on a 1967 Ohio Supreme Court case that says a special election can be set with a joint resolution and not a bill. But what that case does not say and what the Constitution doesn't do is give lawmakers the ability to break the law. And Jane Betsy, there is a law on point in this case, a law that was just passed and went into effect in April that says you can't have these special elections. So that was yeah. something that didn't exist in 1967. I, I can't imagine that the courts would strike this down. Am I, I, I'm, I'm just th thinking common sense here. They just passed this law, now they want to break this law. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would think that would be a problem. My legal opinion is that there is a very strong case here that this August special election will not happen. And of course, this lawsuit that's been filed has asked the Ohio Supreme Court to fast track this. Right. Because obviously time is of the essence because they want to do this on August 8th. And you can't just throw an election. I mean, it takes a lot of planning and run up and they need to know as early as possible whether or not this is going to take place. Yep. All right. All right. So much involved in this. Thank you so much, <laughs> Stephanie. Sure.